May 1937. A Soviet aircraft lands near the North Pole. People disembark, pitch tents, raise a radio mast. This was the world's first polar station, and from this moment, serious research commenced in the region. Today, we are at the beginning of the 21st century, and already commercial development of the Arctic has begun. Our location is in the Pechora Sea, 60 kilometers from the shore. At least 150 people work on the platform. It's equipped with everything necessary for living and working on board. The platform is self-contained with supplies to last three months in isolation. The platform is effectively an artificial island. The base of the platform sits directly on the seabed. Here's some background. The platform was constructed not in the Pechora Sea, but on the mainland, in the city of Severodvinsk. The structure was then taken by sea to Murmansk, where construction work continued. The platform was finally towed from Murmansk to its permanent location. Here it took on water ballast and was positioned on the seabed, with stones and gravel built up around the base to hold the platform firm against strong currents. The platform base is fixed to the seabed by its own weight. It's also called a gravitational platform. The most substantial part of the platform is its caisson. Its walls are made of a 4 cm steel clad layer, which provides greater resistance to corrosion and general wear and tear. This steel has high durability and is able to resist the aggressive marine conditions. The caisson's inside walls are also made of steel, which are further reinforced by a 3 m layer of super strength concrete. This, like the water inside the caisson, also acts as ballast. This mountain-like structure is built to withstand the force of ice or waves, and even a magnitude 6 earthquake. The platform is positioned right in the center of the Prirazlomnaya oil field, which was opened in the late 1980s. The Arctic climate will have no impact on the platform's ability to drill and extract oil day in, day out. Drilling is insulated from the outside and the grid pipes are positioned under a kind of hood inside the caisson. There will be 36 wells in total. Horizontal drilling technology will be employed here. This means that wells from the Priraz Lomnaya platform will extend over many miles deep into the production horizons, including levels very far from the platform itself. And what becomes of the platform's drilling waste? None of this is dumped or poured into the sea. Drilling waste will be disposed of responsibly by pumping it into a designated absorption, which will be drilled at the platform. In the meantime, all the waste from the platform is packed and exported by support vessels to the mainland, where everything is recycled. Let's get back to black gold. Commercial oil for delivery by tankers will be temporarily stored in the caisson. The caisson functions not only as the platform base, but also as a large oil tank. Two shuttle tankers will export the oil from the platform and the valuable raw material will be loaded using a special system called the Direct Oil Offloading Complex, or DOOC. With this system, the tanker does not need to approach too close to the platform for loading. The DOOC extends outwards to reach the loading pipeline. Using powerful pumps, it takes eight to nine hours to fill one of these tankers.
first oil from the Priraz Lomnaya platform was extracted at the end of 2013. In April 2014, the first tanker of oil set off from the platform. The industrial operation of this large-scale Arctic Priraz Lomnaya project is only just beginning.